the spot of earth supremely blessed a dearer sweeter spot than all the rest hello everyone welcome back to design cafe homes with yours truly ananya joyce today we're here in this modern contemporary home in nvt life square bengaluru done by our designer dhanushree for a young and dynamic couple balaji shilpa their parents and their bubbly daughter janvi now here you might have already got a quick sneak peek into the house of this three story villa done all in neutral so without wasting further time let me take you in but if you're new to our channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon and let's dive in now this entire ground floor was in an open floor plan so to make sure that each zone gets its own privacy we went ahead and divided this area into three zones one being the living another staircase and the last one with the dining puja and kitchen this sort of gave each of these areas its own distinct look now first let's talk about the living area but before i go ahead There's one particular unit in this entire living with lots of hidden storage. Can you guess what that is? I feel like Dora the Explorer, but if you couldn't already guess, behind this large TV unit panel is lots of hidden storage with the shutters concealed with the tea putty and push to open handle. The tea putty is continued in the false ceiling as well, which is giving an element of luxury and oom factor to this entire living room. Now to have a traditional twist to the already modern contemporary home, Balaji and Shilpa wanted to go with a nice jeweler for their living. This is done in beautiful wood and brass chain. Now this uh, swing also acts like a segregation between the living and the staircase. Hit like if you love this swing. Moving on to the next zone, being the staircase area, this. zone is highlighted from every corner of the home with this beautiful seamless stone cladding with brass inlay now the couple really loves plants so this entire zen garden like setup is so soothing and calming for the eyes with this buddha statue and hey we've not forgotten about the storage of course the entire space below the staircase is loaded with storage with lots of drawers and shutters for the third and the last zone of this floor we have the dining puja and the kitchen now to separate these areas we've removed the existing railing and then added this large display cum partition since shilpa and balaji loves to travel they have a lot of travel souvenirs that they've adorned this unit with Moving in to the dining area, we have this gorgeous fan cum chandelier on top adorning the space and also this uh, marble top dining table along with a rose gold base. Moving to the puja unit which is also part of the partition that is between the staircase and the dining. This puja unit is such a stunning feature which has a really cool opening. Let me show it to you. These uber cool folding sliding shutters are great to make sure that your space is used to its fullest. This way your dining is not disturbed when the puja is not used. We also have this really cool pull out stool to do puja. This can be conveniently hidden away when not in use. The doors are done in glass and CNC panels which are great because you can see what is inside and it looks well lit at all times. We're here in this large rustic themed open kitchen and since the dining lacked a vanity unit we created this out of thin air by having a partition which can also act as a storage towards the kitchen area. Now this is something that anybody would see as soon as they entered the home from the front door so we had to make sure that it was stunning. For this purpose we gave a designer sink along with a gorgeous light and some mirror with tea putty. it like if you think this is a great feature to have in a dining area this kitchen like you can see is very different from the usual layout so we've divided this kitchen into a dry corner and a wet area now for the dry area we've given lots of display storage so that it can also act as a crockery unit now the vanity partition is also acting like a nice tall pantry unit which is great for a kitchen 
It's also giving that much needed privacy required to cook. Now, if you're wondering how to design your kitchen for your different layouts, we have a guide made just for you. The link is right here. You can check that out. Walking into the most stunning bedroom in this entire home, this is the master bedroom. This room is done in cool colors of blues and greens and Shilpa definitely has a classy taste. She likes to have a touch of gold in everything. So we can see a lot of gold artifacts and even this uh, touch of gold in the wallpaper which is blending with the blue and green. We've converted this wall into a feature wall with lots of artifacts and frames from moments close to their heart. Now to complement the existing wooden flooring, we've given this large sliding wardrobe done in white high gloss laminate. Light colors like these make sure that your space look bigger, so they're great for walk-in wardrobes that are narrow. Now if you're super confused about what finish to go for your wardrobe, well fret not, there's a guide on wardrobe, the link is right here that you can watch and get to know all about wardrobe. Now this bedroom done for their daughter Janavi is every girl's dream room. Beautifully done in Japanese color concept of muted pink and green from this uber cool bunk bed to this fully functional study unit, this room has it all. Now even though they only have a daughter at the moment, the space is designed so that it is comfortable for two kids in the future. The cloud fall ceiling along with the sky painting on the ceiling is such a mood and adding a vibe to the room. Hit like if you think you would have loved this room as a child yourself. Well, moving on to the walk-in closet. Here we have given a nice large wardrobe done in muted pink and white high gloss laminate. This is extremely storage efficient. On the opposite side, we have this beautiful Hollywood style mirror which any little girl would love to have along with lots of storage drawers and a dresser. Design tip of the day. Now here are the things that you need to keep in mind if you're designing a kid's bedroom. Always make sure that the edges of the corners are always rounded and soft. Another thing that to keep in mind is to go for lots of colors and patterns. This fosters their imagination and creativity. Most importantly, don't clutter the room. Give a lot of floor space so that there's enough space for them to run around, play and have fun. Now, the couple got this home in the midst of the pandemic. And if nothing, this home office come study area has been a true blessing in disguise with two dedicated workspaces. Now, we've given lots of closed and open storage for books for the study. But I personally love how they've made the space their own by adding these fresh plants, these cute little artifacts, even this globe. All of this is adding so much personality to this space. This bedroom is dedicated to Balaji's parents who live with them. Now, since this bedroom didn't have much natural light, we went ahead with light and fresh colors like grey, blues and greens that you can see here. Also, a very unique feature that we can see here is a bedside table come storage on either sides of the bed. Hit like if you think this is a great space saving feature in a smaller bedroom. Well, they say people are their happiest selves at home. Now, I would say who wouldn't be in a beautiful home like this? Now, we're at the very end of this home tour. This is a very nice indoor-outdoor balcony sort of area created inside their uh, informal living area. Now, do let us know in the comment section below as to which was your most favorite part of this entire home. For me, be it the soothing colors, those interesting storage options or even that very fun kids bedroom, I loved it all. If you enjoyed it just as much, do let us know, give us a thumbs up and if you're looking for home interiors, you can leave your details by clicking the link in the description box. Until next time, take care, see you all.